Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example validating the relation between the impulse response and the unit step response of a system. So, in this example, we will look at the following system equation. Y of t is equal to integral 0 to t e power minus t minus tau x of tau d tau for values of t greater than or equal to 0. So, this definition can also be written as y of t is equal to u of t multiplied by the integral 0 to t e power minus t minus tau x of tau d tau. Now, the impulse response can be calculated or evaluated as follows. Impulse response. That is, we basically assume that the input x of t is equal to delta of t. Then, the impulse response h of t is equal to u of t multiplied by the integral 0 to t e power minus t minus tau delta of tau d tau. By simply using a change of variables, that is t minus tau is equal to s. So, for tau equal to 0, s is equal to t and for tau equal to t, s is equal to 0 and d tau is equal to minus d s. So, by using this transformation, we can rewrite the we can rewrite the product as u of t into integral 0 to t e power minus s delta of t minus s ds. And by using the shifting property, we can clearly see that this integral is equal to e power minus t. So, we have e power minus t multiplied by u of t. Therefore, the impulse response h of t is equal to the exponential e power minus t multiplied by u of t. Note that this is a decaying exponential. Now, let us look at the unit step response. So, the unit step response is given when x of t is equal to the unit step u of t. So, the unit step response denoted by s of t is equal to the product u of t multiplied by the integral the product of u of t with the integral 0 to t e power minus t minus tau u of tau d tau and this is equal to u of t multiplied by since the input is u of t that is the that is an unit step signal this value is equal to 1 only for t tau greater than or equal to 0. So, by using the definition of the unit step signal we have integral 0 to t e power minus t minus tau d tau which is equal to u of t multiplied by e power minus t applied by the integral 0 to t e power tau d tau which is equal to u of t e power minus t e power tau 0 to t which is equal to u of t e power minus t e power t minus 1. Therefore, the unit step response s of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus t multiplied by u of t. Now, we can easily verify the relation between the unit step response and the impulse response. So, the derivative of s of t is equal to the derivative of 1 minus e power minus t into the unit step signal u of t, which is equal to the derivative of the unit step signal minus the derivative of the product e power minus t into u of t. So, by using the product rule, of course, the derivative of unit step signal is the impulse signal u delta of t minus, by using the product rule, we have e power minus t into delta t minus, minus of e power minus t into u of t. So, clearly, this product is equal to e power 0, which is 1. And this is, and so, these two terms basically cancel each other and we are left with u of t multiplied by e power minus t. Therefore, the derivative of the unit step response s of t is equal to e power minus t into u of t, which is of course equal to the impulse response h of t. Thus, we are using the 
system equation we can verify the relation between unit step response and the impulse thanks for watching